WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy's streaming news leader, this is WRTV News at 11, streaming now. Sierra will continue to be celebrate, celebrated as a warrior and a hero. An emotional vigil tonight in Richmond for fallen K-9 police officer Sierra Burton. Thanks for joining us at 11 o'clock. I'm Nicole Griffin. Burton was shot during a traffic stop in August of last year, and she died more than a month later from her injuries. Many community tonight, a Franklin Community High School student is recovering from injuries after she was beaten by a classmate this week. The district has taken action and WRTV reporter Taj Simmons learned possible charges are on the way. Indiana's new bullying law requires schools to investigate bullying and inform the parents of the victim within three days and the parents of the accused bully within five days. In extreme cases, the victim or the bully can be transferred to another school at the victim's request. A judge slammed prosecutors in the sheriff's office today over releasing video showing an inmate attacking Marion County Sheriff's Deputy John Durham. Indiana State Police will have extra patrols this weekend to crack down on drunk driving. An IMPD sergeant is headed to federal prison after he admitted to stomping on a handcuffed man's face. Him. An attorney for the victim, Jermaine Vaughn, says the city's police department has poor leadership and changes need to come from the top. Vaughn has filed a civil lawsuit against Huxley and IMPD. That lawsuit is still pending. No. Hope Academy, Indiana's only recovery high school, is working to address a critical gap in support for students with substance use disorder. I visited the school today to find out how new grant funding will benefit the students they serve. Fine. Hope Academy says they are still in the early stages of planning the 8th grade prevention program. Monday marks 22 years since the 9-11 terrorist attacks. While the memories of that day have faded for some, others still live with them every day. National correspondent Maya Rodriguez catches up with one former flight attendant on a years-long journey to honor the colleagues and friends he lost that day. 